and welcome to episode 83 of Thinking Outside the Pod. 83. 83. This is getting too high in math. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I know. We've, we've passed There's our... <laughs> eight and a three, I think, or something like that. Some eight plus of... three equals 83, right? Something like yes. That. Yes. I think that's how math <laughs> just works. Just re- rearrange them and go back to episode 38. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, so we're just going to go back in time. <laughs> that, that's actually what this episode is. We're just going to play the 38 audio. <laughs> is that what we always do? I thought yeah. we just like pr- like we're just playing these like backwards. Like we yeah. start with the last episode first and we're just <laughs> yeah. slowly going back to the first episode. I just shift the pitch a little bit. So, and then it's... Sounds then it's different, different. Yeah. Yes. There you go. They're um, all the been. They've all been the same episode since the beginning. We just played it like six times. <laughs> yes. This conversation is actually a conversation we've had eighty-three times. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. I, I want to kill myself. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird that we were talking about number eighty-three on like episode five, but. Hey, who knows? They, weren't they we're talk- rebels. It kind of reminds me of that thing from Anchorman. It's like, we're all in our 30s going to the same party every night, and, that, and in no way is that depressing. No way is that depressing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, like, laughing, and he, like, <laughs> starts to look just like sinking, <laughs> the sinking in realization. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, no way this is sad. <laughs> three three guys sitting in a dark room talking to hey, you. Hey, we got a light. Oh, I oh yeah. <laughs> it's not it's dark. Not dark. Talking <laughs> about relatively the same subjects. Yes. And in no way is that depressing. <laughs> yeah. That's what all podcasts are. Jeez. Yeah. Are weird, creepy guys sitting in a room talking to each yeah. other. We, we try to be topical sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's let's get on to the topics. Good, good segue. <laughs> Speaking of topical, <laughs> <laughs> shit went down this week, I um, guess. Not not much, really. I guess I'll, we'll just go in order unless there's something someone really wants to talk about. So no, uh, nothing. Uh, Nothing super big happened this week. It not, was nothing not huge. Um, did you ever watch Doctor Who? I have seen like maybe like a episode of a it. Episode. That's a shame. Yeah, it's it's a really good series. It's that's it, what I've heard. It's it's yeah. It's, it's science it's fiction. It's it's kind of like <laughs> yeah. It's British. So you but but it's good. It's it's written. Oh, well. I didn't say British was bad. I'm just saying yeah. it, it's definitely it's British. <laughs> we know what you meant. Why do you have Fisher? to? Why do you, why do you automatically assume? <laughs> I don't have anything. You, to you hate the British. What? When did this come through? Well, I mean, it's it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard not to hate the British, though. <laughs> We're America. The French, maybe even the <laughs> British. No, the French are our allies. They helped us. Defeat the British, and then, and then they actually, you're the and most. We, and, then, and then we told the French to piss off. <laughs> you're, you're the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then we're like, thanks for nothing. <laughs> thanks <Sure>. for <laughs> we totally did this by ourselves. We went. We went to the war awards, <laughs> and we won. The, we got this little. Uh, like the Revolutionary <laughs> the War Award. Yeah, we went to... And we like, got, I'd like to thank uh, us, myself. because we did everything with no help from anybody. <laughs> Whatsoever. <laughs> That's what America... Especially would. the French. I'm, I'm sure They didn't do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, geez. Anything the French hindered our progress? <laughs> yes, we yeah, won. We, were we won. Back then. We won despite of you. Or you know, I, of you. I like that we had an award ceremony for this whole thing. Oh, that'd be awesome! Could you well, imagine? America would <laughs> be the one throwing it. <laughs> like we, it's like the first Emmys. Like, yes, we give our award to ourselves. Hey, look at that! We won. <laughs> I wonder if there's been a skit like that where it's uh, we've investigated ourselves and find and found there is no <laughs> run doing on our part for, for the for the best war ever fought and won. It goes to America. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and Germany, you get the Razzie again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. And that award show starts <laughs> World War Three. Dang it. <laughs> Why did we think this was a good idea? Oh, um, man. That I, would be a fun skit to that do. Would be well, anyway, we, we going back copyright. to... <laughs> copyright. <I was> like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doctor <laughs> Who. Yeah. Uh, okay, I was like, what the hell were we talking about? <laughs> We, well, we kind of we, we kind of time traveled a little there. I know we so randomly just a, yeah we went way off topic there. Yeah, it, it, with Doctor Who, I I really like it. It plays into my wheelhouse. I like all all things like time travel sci-fi and sci-fi and, stuff, and yeah. you know dystopian gut, futures, gut wrenching, terrible things happening to characters you care dearly about. Yeah, it's 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 been on. It's like the longest running sci-fi show in history. Yeah, like ever nineteen sixty three. Yeah, it started yeah. started out like yeah, a long time ago and then it like went for like 20 seasons or something crazy and then it like went on hiatus for a little bit and then it came back in 2005 uh all modern and uh and uh it had uh, n- so far 9 doctors is it or no 11 what is it right uh, now? No, it's well it's 11 doctors in total but I I guess since the reboot it's been four yeah, well, we started off with in the original reboot. It was Christopher Eccleston, mm-hmm. and then we got David Tennant, then Matt Smith, and now we're on Peter to Capaldi. Peter Capaldi. And well, th- we had uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> Just British, British people, we, and yeah. we had the War Doctor. Oh, um, 
don't know. War doctor. Uh, I don't remember. Are you just I saying words and putting them I, together? I, yes. <laughs> that's that, that's exactly what they do. I, I I can't remember his name. Oh, J- John Hurt or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's really good. And uh, the big kind of news or kind of confirmation that happened. It, I guess it's been a rumor because that's what the article said. Um, one of the companions. Who, what it is? The, the doctor. Goes on adventures through yep. time and space and whatnot with, uh, like, a human companion. Okay. And uh, it kind of grounds him and stuff like that and provides more, more story. That's more human element. Sure. Exactly. Instead of being yeah. just, what, the just, Time Lord yeah. or whatever yeah, they're called. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and one of the the most recent, Jenna Coleman. What's her yeah, name in the... Uh, Jenna Coleman. She's Clara Oswald yeah, that's in what the show. Is. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, like, I don't know which one's that we, character. We can, name, we can just make up. Name. We can just make up stuff, and then yeah, <laughs> fish, and will fish just will be like, like, "Oh yeah," and then like he brings it up in conversation Frazzle later. Frazzle Fizzlebottom. <laughs> yes. There you go. All right, that's you a know cool that actually was probably said at some point in, in the long run of the show. Frazzle Fizzlebottom. <laughs> you, can, you can tell there's some episodes where they're just like they're just throwing darts at walls. <laughs> yeah. like, All right, now um, Wi-Fi is evil. All right, oh yeah, sure, like Jelly Belly Baby or something. Yeah, they had way back in the seventies. And then there's like. Uh, like there's an episode where like, like, like little like pieces of like molecules of like fat. Oh was yeah, a, was a, like in the villain, <laughs> like All right. uh, something like that. I don't remember. It, what was, it was weird, but but yeah, there's it's it's, 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 it's kind of hit and miss sometimes. Yeah, there's you can tell there's like filler episodes. It's just like any long running. Well, yeah, when they go on that long, yeah, you're gonna have it's to like, occasionally you're gonna be like, oh, we don't want to do this this week. All right, let's just throw yeah. some crap in there. It's like yeah. with the uh, spin the wheel of villains. <laughs> it's like with X Files, like they have an overarching story in there, and then they're like, oh well, we for some reason there's a werewolf here. Uh, yeah, so let's forget. <laughs> about all the spaceships and aliens that we're discovering so it's werewolf it's like a real complex <laughs> history because they have to make it complex because they well that's they what need, it is they need content yeah. but it, so so that kind of stuff it's it's like a nerds it's it's real nerdy that's what yeah. it's known for but uh but the rumor has been confirmed that she's actually leaving leaving it up because we don't know who the because she's the been new on season just for started. uh probably almost two seasons now i yeah. think and it, it's usually like each it's not no each because the doctor regenerates and then soon usually soon after re, the regeneration that gets a new companion yeah most of the time that's pretty much the formula um but he did his regeneration <laughs> <laughs> i i feel nerdy talking about i know this, yeah I'm, I'm like i have no idea what the hell these guys are talking <laughs> when, about like, when, he, sure. like okay. when he regenerates that's when the actors like switch out yeah so oh, okay so, so, so i guess it's just it's just it was code a, word for he his contract ended so we need somebody new it, it, that's exactly they yeah. wrote they wrote the like the so original doctor was leaving something. yeah that's, it, a, that's yeah. essentially what happens is that he dies mm-hmm. and then he, he just, regenerates then he regenerates to a new actor and uh <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it is it's 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 a com- convenient plot element to make up for the fact that that to, that actor yeah. wants to move on uh, but we just eat it up. Nerds are just like, yeah, regeneration, obviously. Sure, yeah. Uh, so obviously the character died and came back. Yeah, that's uh, he has four hearts or whatever he has. Two. Oh, whatever. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, well, it, it it always just signals one of these things that something god awful is about to happen to somebody in that show. So everyone that's watching is just bracing themselves for something terrible mm-hmm. to happen. Yeah, so and it, it's always that's always how it is. The season ends with always something just really bad happening mm-hmm. to somebody, and it's not good for anyone. Yeah, involved. usually like the ends of the seasons are like the really good episodes, and uh, so, so watch like two episodes. Yeah, just season? watch the the, yeah. the first and last episode yeah, of each I'll, season. I'll go through the seasons and pinpoint like the overarching story ones. Yeah, and then it's like okay, you well, only need, you only need to watch uh, three minutes of this episode and <laughs> <laughs> ignore the villain on that because he's just that's just yeah. The, I mean that's the problem is that like the these filler episodes, they'll wait until the very end and just have some like a teaser or something. A plot. Yeah, yeah. they'll be like, oh, we'll have a cutaway shot to something that has nothing to do with this episode. Mm-hmm. That, but signals. it's important. If you yeah, it, it's attention. important to the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, but it, it's it's kind of well known for like its cheesiness, especially like it, like in the beginning, like when they they didn't have the special like money for special effects sure. or the technology for special effects. They like their villains were like terrible. Like his main villain is called a Dalek. And it's, you've probably seen them. It's like the weird little like pyramid robot, or like, the, like yeah, and it has the, like the, a plunger. Yeah, it has a plunger and yeah. like a, a gun like a thing. Cake beater. <laughs> that's, and that's his main enemy. It's just like a big like think of like R two D two except taller 
and like more like a cake looking. Yeah, like the, like he that. doesn't I have think, like legs where his wheels are. It, yeah. It's like all it's like it, it it's essentially just like a a wheelchair like R two D two thing cylinder, and then has a his his thing is a a plunger and a cake. So I think beer. I know what you guys are talking about. So, it, look, I've got I've got a weird robot in my head. That I think I know. Yeah, you you it's it's a pretty well known like sci fi thing. Like whenever you see like compilations of robots or like sci-fi character robot things yeah it's in there usually see but, that and then with the tardis that's that's the other that's, thing yeah, the phone of. booth yeah, like the, phone the, booth. the, the time his, warp his, or whatever his, his ship or whatever yeah it it's uh time tardis stands time or something. and relative dimensioned in space yeah distance in space or something like the dimension in space something like that but but yeah it's uh it's a uh, it, it's supposed to be able to cloak into whatever environment but that cloaking thing messed up like one in one of his first why adventures, it's a, that's why it's a phone booth, or a police box, not a phone booth. But uh, but yeah, and it's bigger on the inside. That's a, that's a big yeah joke. Yeah, I, I'd say go ahead and go for it though. If you got some time, start with the 2005 episode and then go ahead and watch through. Yeah, uh, it's maybe. I mean, you know, I've, I saw like like I said, I watched one or two episodes, and I just and didn't have, do I, it. I just and, don't have the time for it. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's there's a bunch, and I would think it's kind of like a thing where you can jump in. And kind of still get it, like Whenever, it's it's yeah. still like the maybe you won't get like the the terms and stuff. Yeah, at, maybe but, some of the. But, um, well, that's they, what Wikipedia they, is for. Like some of the know. callbacks. Yeah, yeah, and but uh, but usually the episodes are just kind of like villain of the episode. Like there's one bad guy and he figures so, out. So a each way one's to, like a complete arc or whatever. And yeah, then, kind then of. They have a general overreaching arc, and then they have like little mini arcs yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so standard storytelling. Exactly, and and it's and it's like I said, it's written well. Um, sometimes sometimes episodes are kind of weird. There's like real memorable episodes, and then there's ones that you kind of just like, oh yeah, that happened. Like they just made that because they needed to have something for this week. Sure. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's normal. Though. But yeah, it's it's good, and the like it's usually like some kind of a type of message like some you know like don't like play outside more or something dumb or don't (laughs) hurt the hurt the earth or something there's usually some some kind of use use some there's some messages they throw in there which is fine yeah but uh but it's good and the thing is she's leaving which brings up who's going to be the next one the next companion which i mean i think i know who it's probably going to be just because You've it's, read things. I've read some things, and who's it going to be? Just I think is it's it going to be Game uh, of Thrones girl, Maisie Williams, or whatever her name is. I I thought that she had been debunked. I don't know. I, she was in a trailer companion. or something like in Game of Thrones. Um, yeah. I, I think I she's. Don't I don't watch that show either. I think she's name? supposed Aura, to be in the uh, Christmas special. Okay, um, but I think Missy is going to be the new companion for a little while. Which one is Missy? The Missy's the, the villain from the last season. Oh, okay. Eh, whatever. And then she got and she got resurrected in this in the new. In oh, the very she, first so episode. even the bad guys get resurrected too. Like, well, oh, she's also a she's she's a time un, lord. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. bordering on spoilers here, but yes, she's also a time eh, lord. Whatever. It's she is a villain with a new face. Yeah, <laughs> an old villain with old, a new face. Yeah, an old villain. Yeah, exactly. So who knows? It's 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 that, big in the nerd that's world. What I, that's what I've read is that she might be his companion for a little while. That's fine. She's she's kind of older, but. That's fine. Like the thing is, thing is, okay like if she the, wasn't completely batshit crazy. Yeah, the the companions are usually like uh, young, like beautiful actresses. Like most of the time, sure. Like the no, I can't be. Uh, yeah, Billy exactly. Piper and uh, Karen Gillan. Yeah. Um. The um. What was her name in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh, Karen the, Gillan. <laughs> no, <laughs> like her, <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> her actual name when she was in that movie. Um. The the cyborg sister, um, not like the the, the, the blue ball headed one, um, the like the green ch- green skin is it Andromeda, chick. something like that. Um, the green chick, the one that's in okay. the Guardians of the Galaxy, her sister or stepsister or whatever it was. Okay, like the one that she fought and like could like she was like a cyborg. Okay, I think I remember. That's th- that actress was one of the companions. Oh, okay. Um, not the most recent one. The one, one of the older ones before, or whatever. Or two before, whatever. But okay. uh but yeah, she's say they were on good for for a good while too. Yeah, and good story, whatever. But uh but yeah, so who knows, we'll see what's gonna happen in the future. The season just started, so it's probably gonna be like a couple of episodes and they're they'll kick wrap up kick uh, her jump, out and then get the new, new person in there. Thank God. <laughs> she was fine. She, she was, was fine like two seasons ago. Jeez. You hate people. All right. 
Um, Shut well, Fish, it. do you like this story? Oh, God. If you saw this on your Facebook feed, would you like, like it? it? Or would, do you, would you wish that there was some other button to express your sympathy? Or well, express, I mean, express I, your, your... Is there a question mark? Or is there, I have no idea what the fuck you guys are talking about button. I mean, Confu- hashtag confused. Yeah. Hashtag what the fuck are you talking about? Button. Yeah. Well, the reason why Jason brings this up is because Facebook oh. is enrolling a new button or a new button set of buttons. I don't know what it's going to be. It, they it's kind of up in the air. Yeah, cuz they, they said that they really want to do a dislike button. They yeah, they and that's kind of been a big thing. It's like why don't you have a dislike button? But I can see why Facebook doesn't have it. Well, they're just like, "Oh, we don't want to spread the negativity." But you yeah. know, if someone says something really dumb. Well, I don't know, liking or, something that's you know, not positive is also the it, same thing. Yeah, you know? it's like it's my un- it's like my uncle just died. I, I like, like this like, post. Yeah. Like what a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like what else can you do other than comment like that's the thing it's like sometimes you don't want to comment sometimes it's like a person you don't really know but you're less like i i still want to uh, <laughs> like and it, it's just weird but but so they've always wanted a dislike button but i can see facebook not wanting that just because facebook is a big advertising scam essentially sure. so yeah. i mean it, 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 they don't want it used to be cool, and then now it's just like, all right, yeah, now they don't, every, you know, you're like, your information's not safe. Everybody's buying your information. Because you know, you're like, you set yeah, they don't want private, like a bunch of negativity. Like, I would dislike yeah. every ad that I see, no yeah, matter what. Like, like hey. that's what I would do. I was like, I hate seeing this. I don't like that product now, that because it's interrupting my waste time wasting yeah. on it's Facebook. Like, hey, uh, why don't you download Games of War? Dislike. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I can see that, but they're saying that it's 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 not going to be a dislike button or maybe something like that but it's going to be like a I'm sympathy button annoyed. yeah <laughs> maybe like a like an option like if they uh, uh make a range of different sort of feelings yeah. like yeah. If you have sympathy or uh, maybe uh, hopefully they'll make like a sarcasm button yes <laughs> yeah <I think laughs> like jason is posting this with sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> yeah so things like things like that i i i see that that's probably what's going to happen and that's fine that's 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 a good compromise i mean it's it's I, I don't see them doing a dislike button, but maybe, I guess, if people keep asking them. They rarely kind of listen. They just do what they do anyway. Well, that's yeah. what Facebook does. Yeah, yeah, they're just like, screw you guys. Yeah. We know I, what you want. Give me a disgust button. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are disgusted by this post. Yes, that'd be funny. Like, they just, they just, they're like, whatever, you guys wanted this. Like, we're going to get paid no matter what. Yeah. Um, maybe. I don't know. Well, they still they, get advertisement. A lot of, yeah. Well, unless uh, it gets, up, like, Mark bad Zuckerberg. and then advertisers, like, pull out and then be like, never mind, go back. So, or like Zuckerberg, we've told you what to do. <laughs> Give us a dislike button. Give us a dislike button and a disgusted button. button. And a, yep. And vomited while reading button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> every one of our you posts. That would be everybody's <laughs> post now. Just like, oh, no. while reading. It's like, that, uh, like oh, no. That would be I a think I, like. I, think I, I mean, I've heard it on Futurama, and I've seen it posted a lot somewhere. Like, this post gave me cancer. Like, oh. I want that kind of. I want that button. <laughs> you know that that would be amazing, but that'd have to be like maybe you know you see that on like Reddit or something like that before you saw it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. that like, would be amazing. So and so's got leukemia. This yeah. post gave me cancer. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like you, you can write in your own, your your own thing. Yeah. See, that would be bad because they'd yeah, have then, to really police that. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can get in trouble for that. It's like, oh man, I didn't know you could type that curse word. <laughs> so, it's like, <laughs> yep. it's it's like there's a like, there's a sympathy button, and then there's an F U button. It's like <laughs> Yes. Oh, F-U no. button. Thirty thousand people have said F U to Trump. Uh, oh, yeah. that'd be amazing. So yes, yeah, so, yeah. So it's it's I, I don't see them doing something like that just because it's kinda weird because they're essentially an advertising thing. No. So I don't see why why they would risk advertising money. For people to just be able to say they dislike some post or something like that. So, but I mean, you can still hide those ads, though. Like, yeah. You can, like, can be like, I'm not like constantly. It's like if I go on there and say I'm not interested, or say I don't want to see this, they'll like ask you like, why don't you want to see this? And I'll always default to like because it's like sexually inappropriate or something. <laughs> <laughs> like no matter what it is, I'll say like this is sexual content and I don't want to see it. I'm offended by <laughs> by. The- 
Oh, uh, puppy dog, so like, nope, sexual oh, content. No, se- <laughs> like, like puppy dog, like puzzle games, like, like no sexual content. Like in your in your Facebook profile that they keep on every one of its users, it's like this guy has some <laughs> weird fetishes. <laughs> it's like everything is bad for him. He's he's an omnisexual. Everything <laughs> everything excites him. Or, everything <laughs> everything triggers me on this website. Or you just make it easy and you just use like ad blocker or something like that. Yeah. You don't ever see that. Yay! And then they get mad at you. And sometimes websites will tell you. Hey, please turn on ads so we make money. And yeah, like, and and I I can no. see their point. Like uh, ad block, I like. There's been like YouTube videos I've seen on ad block where it's like it is bad. Like it, it, you, it depends pe- on a, the site. A lot of websites run like are f- give free content away because they run on advertisements yeah. and they don't get that money or something like that because because you're not click you're a- able to click on it or something like that. So. But I really don't like ads. Yeah, so you're like, it's, it's kind of like I'm sorry for you. It depends but on like, like, like if I want to buy something, I'll buy it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I and I've always said, but I don't. It's not really a thing. But if I ever see an ad, I'm more likely not to buy that product because you wasted my time. Well, for me, if I see an ad that I'm interested in, I'm not going to click that button. I'm going to go to the website. I'm mm. going to go through Google or something yeah. like that. Look up the website directly because I'm like, I don't know what that button does. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, That's, it may yeah. be an ad, but I have no idea where that button actually goes. Yeah, it's, like, it's, I'm not going to click it. You know? you, yeah, you always hear those. Like you, you never like never click on ads. Like why, why? So it's like, oh, I clicked on this ad. Why? <laughs> Haven't you heard of like all the horror stories? <laughs> and then you, when you download, when all of a sudden you're, you get a million windows popping up, and you're like, shit. <laughs> and you see like a down, like downloading executable file. Like, yeah. Excuse uh, me. <laughs> like, oh, damn no. it. Or actually, Windows sometimes won't even tell you that it's downloading it. It just download, it, and then all of a sudden you see it just start running. And you're like, ah, oh, uh, no. no. <laughs> well, I did. Like I, we've added about five toolbars to your internet uh, browser. Yeah, oh, that, those are the worst. Oh god. Then all of a sudden you get like the the, the weird like viruses that look like uh, and I you know and anti- they look like antivirus software yeah. and you're like oh what is this? Cause my yeah. dad got one of those and it would pop up and it'd scream saying ah oh, you have warnings on your computer. And I was like yeah that's you you <laughs> yeah, download I something. Those it's things. like oh whoa, well then I better scan, like push the scan button that's on that. And it's like no I, don't I do that either. <laughs> that's yeah. like more and more. Yeah. I sometimes get those on my phone like your Android device is, has a virus on it. Like download this or on my computer I say contact Microsoft tech support. I'm like no. no. I, if I needed to contact tech support, I think they'd tell me through a live update or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah from they, some <laughs> random ass browser. <laughs> Like yeah, no no company, no legitimate company, like like this like t- talks to its users through pop up, like it's usually <laughs> some email or something like that. You know, maybe they are if though. It, maybe they are though. Like, maybe yeah, our all computers. These, all, these, all these concerns are legitimate, and they're trying to help us. And they're like, why like, aren't why they are... listening? Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to tell them <laughs> that there's something seriously wrong with their computer. <laughs> And then they're going to get mad at us when, when their computer breaks, but we've been telling them this whole time. Well, usually what you do is when you see something like that, if you you know if it says you have a virus, that's when you go to your antivirus your and you actual. scan your computer. Yeah, you don't you don't click on any links. You yeah. just go, all right, let me scan my yeah. computer real quick. Oh, you know, my my and my program says no, my Norton yeah. doesn't say it. I have anything, yeah, they so both it's fine. You know, if you've got two you know two or three programs and they all say nothing, then you go, oh okay, well it definitely was a scam. You know, yeah. don't don't ever click on a link that just randomly pops up. No, yeah. I mean, unless you know exactly where it goes. I mean, or, unless you're an enemy of mine, do that all the time. Yeah, it's part of the adventure of the internet. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it'll be an exciting story someday. If you see Jimmy.exe, <laughs> then yes, click it. <laughs> click it. <laughs> click it. And share it. Share it and yes. like it on Facebook. All that kind of stuff. That'd be funny if viruses have like their own Facebook page. We're, uh, <laughs> Trojan, Maybe. Trojan like, horse Facebook. It's like page. we really need a dislike button to to uh, stop to these, uh, dislike coming up. Trojan horse. It's like boo, anonymous boo. <laughs> you guys screwed over people. Boo. But uh, but yeah. So Facebook's changing. No big story there. They always change something yeah but usually this is but this is kind of something that we they like people have been asking for for a while or saying that they've been wanting like different buttons because it is kind of weird liking like a post saying that someone lost their parents or something like that you're like i don't like i don't do that but yeah i mean yeah i mean that's not really something you know i'd want to put on facebook yeah, yeah. I, i've seen well, it before where people, people say like how sick they are or something and you got a bunch of people liking them like this person's sick <laughs> like they're like, like yeah a bunch I'm in of the, monsters like i'm i had to go to the emergency room because some situation a bunch of people liking you like that's awful it's like it's all we can do <laughs> 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 to yeah. i mean i know that's not their intention but it still just doesn't look right yeah it's 
<laughs> like my my most liked post is the one that said I went to the emergency room. Like everyone's Everyone. like hoping you're gonna die. <laughs> well, the one that I always think is funny is I see like after breakup and stuff like that. What you'll see is you see like the guys like I, I, I'm now single, and you see all of his guy friends will like it. Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up. There's, there, yeah, there's an occasional female friend, but it's mostly guy friends. Hey, yeah. Good job, bro. Yeah, so <laughs> you got out of you got out of there. <laughs> you made it out alive. Thank you. <laughs> so that that's always a funny one to see. It's like, oh man, everybody's just liking it. You're like, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've had a few friends that have dated girls, and I'm just like, God, she is just awful. And when yeah. they broke up with them, I was like, yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she, she was terrible, and then they get back together. It's, mm. it's, that, uh, it's that sitcom thing. And you're like, like, oh, shit, I better like, never hang out when they're both together. Oh, you were, you, I was kidding, obviously. She oh, was, she's great. Oh. She's I don't know. I, I've never made it a mystery. I'd just be like, dude, she's, a, she's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i guess good friend i guess <laughs> i don't know uh, maybe it depends i don't i don't know her yeah or I, I, him, I just so. have the tendency the curse of being honest almost all the time yeah and it well and it's not even so much honesty as just being really crass about it mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> like well, we need yeah. you know, I guess people like that every mm-hmm. once in a while so. yeah i guess but you need to hear that. Sometimes it, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you just berate me for an hour. I'm just like, I just want to watch the show. And you're like, oh, God. And he's just yelling. Jeez. Jason's a jerk. That's what I'm saying. Yes. You know, an honest one. <laughs> he, calls it, he calls it honesty. Facebook dislike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, maybe like with VR or something that that'll be able to like you can like dislike people in like real life. <laughs> what the, okay, all right, that's a very <laughs> weird ass transition. All well, right. Well, no, we don't even have a story about it. <laughs> we don't even no, have a story well, about there, there, VR. There was actually oh, stuff on but, VR actually. This oh week. yeah, you were saying. Oh so, okay. So I can bring it up so, real yes. quick. I, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so well, okay. it was a transition. So it, 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 I'm, it was, I'm a genius. <laughs> it was a miscommunicated transition. Um, but, but um, really, the only news that I saw was from like a Tokyo Game Show. They had, I think that was what last weekend mm-hmm. or this week. I don't know. So it, recent, and then uh-huh. I, I saw a couple of news articles on it, and uh, Sony was talking about like they, they're hinting at how much their their uh, VR headset's going to be, and mm-hmm. they said it's going to be priced close to a console. Okay. So I would yeah, okay. say so it, if they're saying that, no less than three hundred, probably somewhere between three fifty and four hundred. Okay. Um, which That's, with Sony, something like if it, especially if it's going to be that expensive, I'm a little hesitant. Yeah. Because it's mm-hmm. like because you know. If it works with PC, then I would be way more likely to buy it. If it only works with PlayStation 4, nah, not yeah. happening. No, I, I yeah. That's... I would rather buy one for the PC that might work with the PlayStation 4 than mm-hmm. one that works for PlayStation 4 and doesn't work for PC. Yeah. Because PC is going to have a lot more support, period. Because yeah. mm-hmm. that's where, you know, it's like if, if it's only on the PlayStation 4, if Sony doesn't support it and if you know third party developers don't support it, there's not going to be any sort of support whatsoever yeah there's you can't really mod it there's much much less barrier or barriers to entry t- into the pc world yeah so indie developers that might have an amazing vr idea they can't they can't they wouldn't be able to get it on playstation unless they're it'd like, be uh, trickier it's a lot it's easier to get it on pc than sure. it is to yeah on that's, PlayStation what, that's what i'm saying yeah so Cause, yeah because i mean any any games are more so becoming relevant on consoles but still pc still you know the place where if you want to get the the weird mods and stuff like that, because like you're That's more than you likely go. going to see like a VR version of Grand Theft Auto on PC before probably you before your console. Yeah. And it depends. It depends on who who throws out the money first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, if Sony mm-hmm. decides to throw it out, and then they're like, "Hey, we we have this new VR thing. Hey guys, here's a bunch of money. Make make your games work mm-hmm. with our VR thing." Then it might happen, but. How but much? I, how much is o- Oculus Rift? Because the, they haven't said yet. Okay, as no, far as I know, that's right. They just released a trailer showing the consumer edition. They haven't actually released it yet, right? Yeah, they, yeah. They, they've shown what the final version will look like. Um, they they haven't. I haven't heard anything no about it in a while. So no, and I mean it, that's one of those things that when it hits the consumer level, that I'm still gonna wait a few yeah. years. Oh, I'll probably before. get one. It depends on how much it costs. If it's gonna be like four hundred, five hundred dollars, I may wait a little bit. But mm-hmm. if it's like maybe three hundred dollars, yeah. If it's three hundred dollars, I'll I'll consider biting uh, mm-hmm. when it first comes out. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm because I'm I'm really interested in it. I think it's going to be awesome. You know, I, I may even try to look in. You know, since I've been l- learning coding at school, I may go ahead and try to see if I can learn how to code for VR or something. That'd you know, just make cool. something a little goofy or something like that. I mean, make, I, it's going to take a while because I don't know anything about like three D graphics. Make our podcast virtual reality. Oh, that'd yeah. be awesome. Oh, that'd be <laughs> great. We're not even here. 
<laughs> like get a little get a little mo- motorized camera or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, or get like find out how to do like a. Well, not, it wouldn't be 360 video because that'd be silly, but do like maybe like 180 video or mm-hmm. something like that, and then you yeah. can just you can like the, the YouTube whatever the the, the yeah, VR three, YouTube or whatever yeah. 360 YouTube do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I was I've been I looked at ca- like 360 360 degree cameras. They're not cheap. They're no. like they're 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 there's there's like things adapters that you can put on phones and stuff. Yeah. to make it like it's like it points up or something as like a mirror or something. I don't know exactly how it works. I, I kind of know how it works, but not for sure. But but they're not cheap. I was like, that'd be cool to try to do a video like that, but it's too expensive. Sure. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. That's why it, there's not many of them, I guess, out there. Or, like, the ones that are out there are, like, big, like, they're like companies co- or yeah, something somebody's, like that. Yeah, somebody's paying a lot of money for Somebody that, that can afford it. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, we <laughs> could essentially, like... We could rig one up, probably. Well, like, we're streaming this episode. Essentially, that's VR. I don't know, not really, but no. <laughs> it's I guess <laughs> uh, video r- reality. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, well, yes, moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but but yeah, I I that'd be I I am not an early adopter by any means, so I. It usually- depends on what it is for me, you know. Th- there's a few things that you know I was like, because like the PlayStation Four, I jumped on it when it first came out. Like I pre-ordered it like mm-hmm. the day after they announced mm-hmm. that they're when you know when the release date and stuff. And I haven't played it like much. I've, I've played a few games on it, so I've gotten you know I, I use it mostly for streaming, just because there's there's no good game for it. Yeah, <laughs> you know there's or there there are some. Take don't it, get Sony. me wrong, but <laughs> there's just not as many as I wanted by this time. I'm like, come on, Sony, let's let's start putting out some of the the, the cool games. You know, mm-hmm. there, there's a, a couple of games that are announced, but there's just nothing out yet for it. And I'm like, all right, well I've played my two or three games now. It's just I stream. Netflix, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't buy. Um, I bought an Xbox first. I mean, I didn't buy that until almost, like, probably a good year or so after it came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, just as far as early adopters, you know, you don't know what problems are going to come straight out of the box, and launch titles are going to be really scarce. Yeah. And I mean, I just bought my PS4. I want to say what, probably three, four months ago. Mm-hmm. And know, uh, I've probably played my PS4 now just because I'm building up my library for it. Yeah. But either way. Yeah, I'm just still playing my Steam backlog for the most part. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, PC is what I I spend most of my time. I mean, there's just so many more games on it right now. Mm. And until the PlayStation 4, you know, like I, I played the Wii U for a little bit because I, I played the games that I went to on that. And now it's like they're all, all the consoles are just sitting there because I'm like, yeah, there's uh, nothing really good that I want right I, now. I just bought another franchise on Steam the other day. Oh, <laughs> so geez. now I'm just like, all right, well, that's three more games. <laughs> yeah, see, so yeah, my, my Steam library is way too. I, I don't think I'm ever going to complete my Steam library. I'm like, I, I, I don't even. There, there's supposed to be some website that calculates how long it'll take to complete your Steam library. I don't even want to guess. It's probably just like you'll die before you complete this. I'm like, yeah, all right. I mean, I don't have nearly as many games as you do. But I just know, looking at it, I was like, I'll never get it. Like, unless I quit my job and just sit in front of my computer, you know, 24 hours a day. Well, a big chunk of my list are one where they're, like, bundles. It came with, like, four or five uh-huh. indie games. And, you know, it was for, like, five bucks. So, I'm like, I just wanted one game in the bundle. I'm like, well, I really can't. You know, it, it's cheaper to buy the whole set than it is the one game. So, it's like, all right, I'll buy the set. Yeah, I'm like, like I'm never um, gonna touch these other games. Like WB just had a sale on yep. there. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's weekend I, sale. Like, yeah. I bought the I bought the Fear franchise. I was like, I played this once like ten years ago. Yep, <laughs> yep. And then it's I'll gonna go sit, ahead and do it again. It's gonna sit in there for another ten years, and you can go back and go, oh, I had this. I you know. Oh wait, Windows. <laughs> I was like, at this point in time, Windows no longer supports these games. Yeah. <laughs> or you'll do what I do every once in a while. You'll go to buy a game. You look, and you're like. I already it's already it. in my library. Yeah. You're like, when the hell did I buy this? You're like, like, man, Damn it. I really wanted to play this. Oh wait, there really? it is. I've had that a like, few games. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, I already bought it. I'm like, when the hell did I buy it? <laughs> like, thanks, past me. Yeah. I'm like, oh great. All right. <laughs> thanks for looking out. You're like, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that going to be another Facebook button? I have a problem. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like you have a problem. <laughs> like you've been sitting at a bar for six hours. I have a problem. Like there's, yeah. a, there's a button that's like send brochures, and they just like Facebook would mail like addiction brochures like in the mail. <laughs> Jeez. Or email you. or and This is a Facebook brochure on alcoholism. <laughs> You're going out too much. Like they're they're expanding their PR department. Yeah, it, it'll like start tracking like all the places you check in at. Like all these places are bars. 
All right, uh, well, you're obviously an alcoholic. Well, they <laughs> obviously do that already, and they're probably like already like target ad targeting you, like no matter what. Yeah, like, I checked into like five places yesterday. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's oh, he at now? Another bar. Where's he at now? Another bar. Well, one of them was a restaurant, so technically. <laughs> but I mean, but I did say I was bar? at the bar. At yeah, the restaurant. there was a bar in there. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so. I mean, I did drink a beer at the restaurant, but it was a restaurant before it's a bar. Facebook knows knows all this already. Yes, <laughs> and we're telling them again. They they probably have their their feelers out on every part of the internet. Oh sure, like well, Google. It's like that. Um, I have an app on my phone called Foursquare. So okay. whenever you yeah. like go by, like drive by somewhere, or walk by somewhere, be like, oh, you're near this place, mm-hmm. and that's all it was doing to me last night. Like, oh, you're near here. Try this, or oh, you're walking by this place. Oh, yeah. by the way, like half a mile this way, that's where this place is. Yeah, and that's why I never turn on my data on my phone. So yeah, I'm it's constantly telling me, hey, I'm spying on you constantly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I turn off my data sometimes. Like, it almost, my phone almost died last well, night because well, it was the, on the entire time. The thing with those apps, it's it's like like a burglar's like dream. It's like, oh, this person's out. He's not at his house. Mm. I could steal everything. Well, I mean, it would be like, oh, somebody on my friends list broke into my house. Uh-huh. <laughs> I gotta track down all ten of them. Yeah, like somebody's <laughs> near your front door. You're like, well, oh, I mean, it. It, is is Foursquare private? Private? Like, it's not a fa- it? it's not a Facebook thing. Mm-hmm. But um, okay, no, like like yeah, yeah, they're private. They're private. They're they're separate. Well, yeah, but is you like mean, if, does if, it broadcast to everybody else where you're like, at? I, no, like, no, 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 no. Like it's just your friends or your yeah. And I mean that. I mean a lot of that has yeah. Foursquare doesn't actually do anything for you. It just tells you where. Like oh, what, okay. like what's near? I thought you. it was like a check in thing. Like you can check in. No, you can well, you, you can check in on Facebook, but Foursquare just says, "Hey, like on your GPS, it's showing this is where you're at, mm-hmm. and there are these places that are around." I you. thought you could check in on yeah, Foursquare. I, I, I think it, maybe it connects to maybe, Facebook or something. It, it might, but I've never checked in using Foursquare. Yeah, because okay. I'm pretty sure you can. I remember hearing uh, like years ago that you could, but yeah. I I never got into that kind of stuff because i i I remember like there's a thing where like if you were the first person to check or like the only one to be checked in in that one place you're like the mayor of that place or something like some term like that i think it is mayor even though that sounds ridiculous because it is but like you become like the mayor (laughs) of starbucks or something like the force dumb (laughs) but (laughs) in all reality it's probably what it is it's it's like you're you're the mayor or king of Starbucks or something like the four square king and then like <laughs> like you you'd be able to see like who else is there or something like that I, I don't remember how it works that'd be kind of that'd That's be kind of weird you stand yeah. up by the table you're like my subjects bow down to me <laughs> the king of it's Starbucks like, hey Richard <laughs> and like people are like no and then like their phones like start shocking them and like oh god and then, <laughs> ah, I got a shock oh no let's go. kneel before me it's like hey you see the that mayor guy at the table Starbucks. by the window his name is Richard yeah. and that girl over there at the bar her name's Ashley well, yeah, that's well, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> well, that's like augmented Ashley. reality. Like that's like like Terminator. Like Terminator eyes. Oh, that's gonna be yeah. crazy when that's, we start to identify faces and it just pops up like everything, like well, your address. <laughs> I know like, there's oh, been God. videos like that where like par like parody videos or or like uh like what could be in the future type videos where yeah. like you're just walking down the street and you can like it pops up like like their like little profile. And it says like, oh, like uh, single remi- likes, dislikes, and things like that. Kind of like reminds weird, me of like, uh, like Watch Dogs. Yeah, that game Watch Dogs, where he just looks at his phone and as you're walking past people, will be like, "This is their name. Like, here's like an attribute about them. This is how much money they make, or like this is what they do for a living." Yep. And that's pro- I, and I heard like Watch Dogs, like even though there's some elements that aren't like real, it's all like based in reality. Like yep. all those things could happen. Like yep. phones are constantly like streaming data out and unless you turn it off or, or turn it like turn the phone yeah. completely off it's good video on that was a uh, game theory mm-hmm. they did yeah, two-part video on it and yeah they they, they showed they're like yo you could stop people's hearts with a cell phone or mm-hmm. you know just like a wireless connection because like the heart pacers and stuff like that they're not very secure mm-hmm. so really somebody could hack your heart pacer and kill you i think i saw that video and i think it like someone actually did like yeah. or or something maybe it wasn't a pacemaker or something else like some other implant th- medical thing that someone actually stopped with their computer or something like that yeah. i'm like yeah that's well that's the fun possible. one that was they were like can you blow up like uh sewer pipes uh-huh. with you know with 
hacking and stuff like that. And they're like, yes, you can. <laughs> Actually, ironically, we accidentally did it. The United States <laughs> accidentally, did, accidentally did it to oh, Russia. I, I thought like Game Theory did it. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Like, no. Matt they, Pat, no. No, yeah, it's, they, yeah. they talked about that and like changing uh, traffic lights and whatnot. Yeah. And, and they're like, that's somebody all, actually did that. Yep, and, yeah. and yeah, I mean, it's, it's all possible. Yeah, because the, 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 the pipe story was funny because it was Russians were spying on on stuff and they, they actually gave him a virus and it screwed up their pipe system and like blew up a whole bunch of pipes and crap like that. They're like, Cold War is just getting They're just worse. like, oh shit, we didn't mean for it to go that far. They're like, whoops, that wasn't that wasn't what we thought was going to happen. My bad, Putin. It, yeah, it sounded yeah, sound like it, it, they didn't intentionally try to blow up a bunch of pipes. They just wanted just to shut off the pipes. They didn't expect them to explode. They're like, oh shit. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, we'll like, sorry, we just screwed over way more people than we wanted to. <laughs> we'll, we'll send some vodka. Yeah, it's like, uh-oh. You know, they don't need it anymore. It's like, they please, got, no more. <laughs> but you know what? We have problems. Talk about people getting screwed over. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, topical news. Well, I should talk about news. What? Um, there's that kid who brought the homemade clock to school yeah, or Ahmed whatever. Muhammad or, yeah, Muhammad or... Something like that, yeah. yeah. Is, was that in Texas? I don't remember. Um, I think it yes, was. Yes, it was in here in Texas. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We're like the... the, the Sta- we're, we're in, the we're, reddest we're, state. In we're the like the worst state right For now. Right now, but like, it's our kids. Our kids are terrible right now. They're yeah, they're attacking young, refs. They're young whippersnappers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, attacking refs. Yeah. They're, they're attacking multiple refs times coaches. in like weeks, like two weeks. And then periods. they go on the news and say, "Well, the, well, the coach told me to do it." It's like, well, if the don't. coach tells you to jump off a bridge, are you gonna jump off a bridge? No. Yeah. You, I, you guys, at some point, you know, hey, hold the kids. You know, it's like if they're stupid enough to attack a ref, it's like, come on. You yeah, know. Yeah. I, I think it was those two John Jay kids. Yeah. Um, that did it. Which is, and I, I saw him on Good Morning. America, city, yeah. and um, I, I God, I hate to say it, but as soon as they asked him like why they did it, it was like, oh, the coach was saying the ref was making like racial slurs on something. Like, there it is. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and pull the race card out immediately. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's possible. Like, I mean, yeah, it, it's even po- even so, it's not something you just go like tackle a guy for. Yeah. Well, but that, but like, I, but well, it, but it, I was just waiting for it. It's like, and there it is. If if you there's know. if if because that's really what the it's come to. If the story is to believe, it's it was that the the ref was making bad calls. The coach was getting frustrated for coach told them to hit the I, and this is all i mean it could all be made yeah, up that's it, all we don't it know could yet. all yeah those two kids conspired together and we're like let's just hit this guy because yeah we want we're mean or something i don't know what but i mean it could bad, be anything I mean, like bad that, but. calls get made all the time like refs make refs make bad calls like in yeah. every game ever yeah and then you know, but then it's you, not anything new well uh, definitely of course and you would think at like a professional level of course that would never pop up in a player's mind like it might pop up but then they'll be like no you idiot yeah, don't I do mean, that that's I'm making five million dollars a year but but like with high schoolers that like, you always get that thing it's like they're not as developed as, well but still but you sh- they, they should they should be at least at, that developed they're at yeah. a level where they're like come on you you, you know if something is bad it's like you, you see rep- the- you find out who to report it to or whatever you, you know you, you tell a coach you don't go tackle somebody yeah. it's like what good is that gonna do it's gonna well, make the situation much worse and if it's re- and if it's uh like you said if it's uh supposed to be believed the coach is the one that if the coach is the one that told him to do it mm-hmm. i mean that's on him well yeah, it's still at, but at some point that you, you still it. have to you know you can't just completely yeah. put it on the coach because then you're 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 ignoring the fact that it's like the kid still tackled yeah. him yeah yeah no it's 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 definitely bad and then it happened a, another two weeks in a different different like texas town as well or even in san antonio that, well it was john jay high school and john, I, thought, I yeah. think that's here in town. no that is that here is, that is yeah. here that's it's like a local national story but then again it happened again in another texas city like yeah, that, that one wasn't here. Not no. not, not here, here but not it was here Texas. in San Antonio, but it was somewhere else. It was somewhere up north, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't know, know where. I but, haven't heard too much about. But uh, it. but yeah, so like there's like if you go on like Imager, there's there's, there's always like that like a, a thing of Texas. And it's like zero days since national embarrassment. Yeah, I and mean, but yeah, so like the the recent thing is the the kid the brought kid a brought a, a clock that he 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 had made or at least modified or something like that because i saw this video yeah he said he made it out of spare electronic parts the the and there's this video that said no he didn't he disassembled the clock and put it in a briefcase so oh, but still i mean but still he he, he he still wanted to show his work to a science professor which yeah, is a completely it, it, legitimate thing yeah, yeah like something he was making at home 
and he wanted to show his engineering yeah science yeah, teacher he's, he's like an engin- in an engineering program or yeah. something and i i mean i knew a lot of engineering students i mean they carry around some dangerous looking stuff all the time but you don't really think anything well of it. the thing is he was like, like oh they're engineers they're batshit crazy wh- anyway wh- what i've heard you was know. the engineering teacher said it's fine like of course a yeah, good 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 clock or whatever it was but then later on it like beeped in his like english class or something like that and that's when like it got all blown out of proportion so a lot of people are saying like what kind of engineering teacher wouldn't know wouldn't know a clock from a bomb or something like that and it's like no it wasn't the engineering teacher it yeah. was the, the the engineering teacher was like uh oh, it looks kind of suspicious the way it's made like a briefcase with a big display and whatnot yeah but uh so don't show it to anyone or something like that that's what happened and then it happened it got shown in english class like so an english <laughs> teacher made like, made the big uh, big thing and he got a, a or yeah he got arrested, and arrested and said it was a bomb and it, of course it wasn't but he's he's like got invited to like the white house oh, got yeah, invited to facebook which i think is crazy you're he's, like he's on his 15 minutes of fame right now you're like yeah. out of all the things to get invited to the white house for because well, just, you know, it's like really. I think Microsoft ended up sending him like fifteen grand worth of yeah. I saw a picture of of all this stuff, like a three D printer. I saw. I'm like, like geez. a Surface Pro three, like and, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. But but the thing is, like, it's it's one of those things. Like we're like, it's not really about this, but it's become about this. It's like punishing intelligence. Like that's yeah. kind of like what it's been like. Or and people or and they're like just want to celebrate like curiosity or scientific curiosity and or engineering in our students and stuff like that so that's what it's become about it's like that hashtag i stand with ahmed it's yeah. it's it's just a lot of people saying like why like uh why be little like smart people like that's like or why why are you afraid of smart people like that's like <laughs> one of the problems of america unfortunately yeah, or that, Texas that kind of is true, <laughs> which yeah. which is sad because like in Texas, I, if, I you're, if you're not a farmer or you're not playing football in Texas, you're almost worthless. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's no. not necessarily true. There's uh, you'd be surprised how much like computer science and stuff is going on in like San yeah, Antonio, yeah. Austin, Rack Dallas. And... There's so many big companies around mm-hmm. here. So I mean, there is still smart people. They're all yeah. just kind of stuck in this triangle of cities, though. Yeah. Everywhere else, there's like nothing, <laughs> but. Mm-hmm. For the most part, it's in everywhere else. There's just football and farming. Pretty much, (laughs) (laughs) that's pretty much Texas. Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's our state. That's yeah, that's us to a to a T. But uh, Uh, thinking of another Texas T, interesting thing that's been (laughs) going on. Like you know all the the politically (laughs) correct crap that we've been talking about. Yeah, Uh, South Park. They Mm. started up again uh, this week, and of course, their first episode was talking about political pr- correctness oh, and stuff. yeah 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 and they, they pretty much made or i guess spoiler alert i guess yeah. I, I won't try to delve too much into it it, it was it was a pretty funny episode mm-hmm. but they had like a, a fraternity of like politically correct people <laughs> and they were just going like way overboard you're just <laughs> like wait you're, you're sitting there saying you know you're like you're pressing people because you're you know different beliefs it's like well now you're pressing me for dot you know for <laughs> "Quote unquote," oppressing them. You're like, hold on a second. It's it's just like a huge circle of yeah, like. Yeah, didn't uh, in that episode didn't Kyle like write a paper or something saying that like Caitlyn Jenner wasn't a hero? Or, and that yeah, was, like, he, a big he, crux he said of the it. Episode. Yeah, he said it, and then everybody's like, "Whoa, Caitlyn Jenner's here!" I was like, "No, I I hate to say it. I agree with him. I don't think Caitlyn no, Jenner did I don't, anything I don't special." So. Many people have done that before. Why are they not heroes? Yeah. You know, wh- yeah, yeah. Why well, why is just Bruce Jenner becoming Caitlyn Jenner? It, it's is a pub, big public figure, well, but, blah, blah, still, blah. but still, yes, it's I, still crap. It's I, like who cares? It's and? it. It's I don't think she it, she got or yeah she got too much notoriety for it. But still, it is a a good thing. Like it was it was a brave thing to do. But still, I agree there but, was yeah. it was too much built hype around it. Yeah, I, you know I understand. Yes, you know maybe do it a little bit to bring awareness but like to to sit there and call her a hero you're like really you're mm-hmm. like what, what about everybody else who constantly is getting you know berated for this stuff why, yeah. why aren't they heroes too why yeah. you know why is it only that famous people are considered heroes but then you get like the normal mm-hmm. person and then they get maybe about like 10 seconds of mm-hmm. oh hey they did something cool and then nobody cares about it yeah. it's like but no we get like you know caitlin jenner well, everybody's like oh my gosh she's the most co- coolest po- person ever you're like well, uh, that's bullshit you it's, know that's what i hate about our society because normal people don't have publicists well yeah that's yeah. the big thing and that's like still, that's but- they they and they're like the thing is like like in the minimalist sense of the word you can say She's a hero if she inspired one person to 
uh, embrace the their difference or something sure. like that. So like in a minimalist sense, yes, like anyone can be considered a hero. But I agree, like the the, the publicity and, and the hype around her. She got a new show out of it, uh, high profile interviews and stuff like that. Well, she's in some trouble right now. Anyway, I think a lot of people are kind of iffy about Caitlyn Jenner right now. Anyway, because uh, she was on the Ellen Show not too long ago. And for what you know, and as strange as it is for a transgender person saying that, they, saying that uh, homosexual marriage is wrong. Yeah, like, oh, that's kind of they're, they're yeah. Like, wait, she, it's like an oxymoron a little bit. Yeah, like and Ellen was like, I, like, like she's she, like, I don't get it. I don't. I just don't get <laughs> get that at all. Which it it is kind of weird yeah. to think about that, but. But yeah, it's it's just a, a a weird thing. But yeah, I I agree. And I mean, I I hope she just kind of falls into obscurity. And I I heard the show's year. not doing what do well, not doing too well. Um, her new show, but she's rich. She's gonna be fine. Whatever. Yeah. It, it was just a, a a flash in the pan. Like all, all everything these days. Like everything. It's a publicity stunt. Yeah, you know, you is. turn yeah. something. You know, it's like yeah, great. It's a life choice. Great. You make your life choice fine. Mm-hmm. But you know they turned it into a publicity stunt. Uh, yeah. Everybody, be sure to get your rainbow Doritos. Yeah, it's well, like, they are. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, and it's all it's all marketing and like something is hot right now. Like something is is happening in the world. People are talking about this one thing. Of course, brands are going to come in and yeah, see, and, and just, try to think. It's well, one of those things of you know, like what South Park was highlighting is that we're big. We're, we're like you know, it, it's one of those of. We can't ever find a good middle ground with crap like this. It's either mm-hmm. A, we just don't give a damn, or B, we go way too far care too much, and make yeah. it such a big deal mm-hmm. that it's like, well, no, 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 you're, you're doing it wrong. You, you're, you're Now, instead of actually teaching to tolerate, you're teaching to be afraid of not tolerating. You mm-hmm. know, it, it, there's, you got you to gotta sit there, you, you, you know, they're not teaching... To, you know, they're, they're now they're teaching to like berate people for not tolerating. It's like, no, you know, you're, you're doing you're, you're doing the exact same thing that you're fighting against. Just now you're turning it backwards. You know, so, South Park. No, is but so don't good. but don't let them know that though. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's like we're just going in a big giant circle. We're not actually stopping the cycle. We're now we're like, okay, first it was cool to hate on gay people. Now it's like now it's mm-hmm. you know cool to hate on people who hate on gay people. You know, it's yeah. like wait a second, it's just like a, cir- a circle of you know like. You know, we're we're not teaching peace and equality. We're teaching people yeah, to be more just, wary. We're shifting the the negative hate because now to we're like another group. Because you know, now first it was you know I treated you differently because you're different. Now it's now I have to treat you differently because I can't treat you differently. <laughs> And it's like, wait, hold on a second. I, I'm confused. You know, now it's like, I, I, now, I, now I have to be wary about. You know, now I have to sit here and I have to constantly figure out what the hell. You know, what can I say? Like, what yeah, can right. I say? Like what pronouns? Are now there I have to go. All right, you know, you know it's like when you meet somebody, you have to be. You know, it's getting it's getting to the point to where you're like, all right, okay, you're female. Are you a lesbian? I no. Think. Are you a vegan? No. Like, okay. You know, it's, it's, it's like, like what's you know, the new uh, greeting going to be in a few years? Like yeah. handshakes aren't going to be allowed anymore. You're like, hi. Yeah. Was, yeah. When you're like, hi, <laughs> I, you know, Spocking. I'm whoever I'm <laughs> so-and-so age. I'm male. Well, I no. identify as male. That's where the VR comes in. The yeah. augmented reality, the profile <laughs> pops up. It's like, uh, like gender, like what it was like, like gender and then it's like what they what they consider themselves and it just has all that so you, you no yeah, confusion it's, it's anymore. gonna be yeah it's gonna be it's just gonna be, <laughs> it's like gonna be a damn mess yeah or yeah. or it's like augmented reality where everyone is just like like they just augment them to like just like rectangles it's like like cubes yeah. and that's what we see the world as just just no gray, but then gr- you'll get people saying cubes. if you get people saying it's like i don't identify as a cube <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they, yeah. they mod it where they become a sphere, and then there's you know, well, like maybe that's where your whole VR thing comes in. Augmented is, it, re- uh, um, is like whatever that whatever the person identifies as, that's what they are in VR. Like I identify as a dog. Well, now you're a dog. Like, yeah. Holy shit! There's a dog and dog. Well, <laughs> well, that's that's what like avatars are. Like yeah, uh, like like Second Life. Sure, that was a thing um, where you can make your yeah, own avatar. Whatever. Yeah. That's a, that's I, I I I some of that stuff. I mean, I don't know if that's technically intolerant. Some of that stuff I don't get. I mean, trans whatever, I don't care. But like people that say I identify as like 
a wolf or some kind of animal. I was like, that's dumb. okay. That that is yeah. You're like I have to. I, I, I'm I, like that. If if that's what you believe, fine. But, but I, don't I'm still expect. Gonna think it's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's like sorry. It's not. Don't expect me to treat you like a wolf. I'm not gonna like. Yeah. If I'm gonna treat so I'm you gonna like a wolf, I'm gonna away. shoot you. Yeah. yeah. So because you're a wolf. Yeah. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. yeah don't gonna carefully walk away. Yeah. You know? if, are you gonna forfeit your your rights as a human being to <laughs> to be a a wolf? Like, can we not let you into this? Yeah, you're sorry, no dogs. Uh, you can't come in the yeah, library. Sorry, no, no dogs allowed. It's like, sorry. what? No, now you're now you're discriminating me because I identify as a wolf, and it's like, oh no, all this. Or thing. just have dog libraries. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's just <laughs> it's it's getting to a it, point where it's getting out of control. There, yeah, yeah. There's some ridiculousness. Like, I there's I would like a world where everyone is just treated equal. Yeah. Like, but the thing is, like. It's hard. Well, see, the issue like it's, is, it's is, is where this of what what I, what I think our biggest problem is is what causes this kind of stuff is the fact that we we're labeling people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, first we labeled them as a bad thing, and now we're trying to make these labels positive. But now mm -hmm. it's like, well, wait, let's mm -hmm. just get rid of all the labels yeah. and just say, forget it. We're yeah. all just humans. You know, yeah. who cares? Mm -hmm. you Except know, for if, the wolf if, people. Okay. Except for the people that identify as wolves. Well, I mean, but you know, it's one <laughs> those of those. Aren't of, <laughs> <laughs> and they they're offended that you call them people but fish. it's just it's yeah i mean it's just it's so it's just so crazy that it's like well you know we want to mm. say we, we want to keep talking about equality but it's like <laughs> you know we're, we're still labeling people we're, we're we're getting mad at people yeah for you well know, like what would oh, be the world would it be the gray cubes like would is that the world that we need to have like we, I, <laughs> where where that's what there is eventually. No that's what humanity will eventually evolve, that's evolve well, into. That's, well, I mean, that's what all the futuristic things, like the futuristic utopian societies, yeah. they're all always monotone, just like one color. All the buildings are one color. All the people dress in the same color. That's what. It's like, that, that's your classic dystopian future. Yeah. Well, or like a, like, a demolition man. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, but I would I would say even like utopian. That's what it is. Like everyone's equal. Well, I don't think it necessarily used to go that far. I just think we need to start trying to make a culture where we just don't care. That's <laughs> why is it relevant? <laughs> here's, my, here's my biggest question: Why does it matter, matter. if okay. you know if say if Jimmy were gay? He's not, but let's say what happens if he was gay. Why does it matter to me if he's gay? Yeah, I mean, you know, if he hits on me, I say, you know, hey, sorry, yo. man, I'm not gay. Yeah, please, please don't hit on me. <laughs> Fine, you know that's fine. But why does it matter? Yeah. Who cares? It's yeah, no. It's, why like, is why it make, no like why make it a big deal? Mm -hmm. You know, like no one else cares. Because like, that's why I don't understand with like the gay marriage stuff. It's like who cares? It's like traditional difference of marriage. My ass. Why do we have divorce? You know, it's yeah. like it's so it's changed. Everything, all of our rules has changed. Why does it matter? Yeah. Does it make your life worse if gay people get married? Mm -hmm. No. Who cares? You know this kind of stuff. Yeah. This is our problem. Is we care about shit that doesn't bother us. Yeah. You know, people yeah, are like, it shouldn't I bother. It's like, this, why? Why do you, why get are you offended? Why yeah. does it matter? You know, who cares? Mm -hmm. No, I. You know, if people want to pray at school, like let them pray at school. Like I don't false, care. Like this false sense of principles. Yeah, yeah, it's like so what? You know, why does it matter? Why does it offend you? Yeah. You know, it, it's yeah. This doesn't matter. It shouldn't therefore offend you because it doesn't matter. Yeah, because does it actually hurt? You know, does it stop you from doing something else? Yeah. Or does it? You know, does it prevent you from doing something? Does it physically harm you? No, well, it's Why it's that uh, it life, uh, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. If 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 those rights are being kept, then it nothing else matters. Like that's the that's what that is. Like those are the only things you're entitled to. So yeah. So I mean, it's just I think there's a point there. I don't know. So yeah. I guess we'll go stop it. Stop well, stop with this politically yes, correct crap. There we go. I mean, you know, I, I can understand. I understand your whole yes yes we do need yes it, it is a problem and mm -hmm. it does need to be addressed. We're just doing it wrong, mm -hmm. and we're never going to solve anything because really there is, you know, the, the the way that we're handling it now, there's no way that we're ever going to make anybody yeah. happy. Until you know? until all the coverage stops and everyone embraces the not caring because it doesn't matter yeah. philosophy, which it won't. Yeah, like, because, that's the thing. because yeah. everybody's making such a big deal out of it, we're never going to get yeah. to the point to where it's like, like you know, the like issue shi is... Shining a spotlight on it isn't going to make it go away. It's going to make it... Yes, More so we, bright. we yeah. need awareness, but we but we don't we're we're going about it the wrong way. We're going about awareness with like fear, and yeah. you know, we, we're just augmenting the idea of you know people are different. We're mm -hmm. not trying to make it to where it's like we got to teach a culture of just it doesn't matter. Yeah, just be like, oh, gay marriage is legalized, 
And next story. Yeah, yeah. who cares? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, good, fine. Next, you yeah. look great. You know, let, let's let's try. Let's to look fix. at this baby panda sneezing. Because I like, think yeah. we, I think we need to do, go back and start change all the laws that were hindering people, and just yeah. kind of go. All right, let's let's slowly try to get you know equal pay, equal all that kind of good stuff. Let's slowly try to make everybody on an equal term, and then then try to get to a point to where it's like, okay, now we understand everybody is more or less equal. Okay, and then we don't have to worry about you know. All these differences. So, in all in only all, any everybody in the world thought like us. But unfortunately, yeah, that's that's like one of my old <laughs> Facebook posts. It's like, why doesn't everyone just conform to my ideals of yeah. it, the world be in such better place? Like, well, if you yeah, just I, didn't I mean, care about anything, then that would be every, everybody would. You know, everybody thinks that same way. It's like, oh, if everybody thought, you know, but yeah, I'm like, right. Like for all I know, I so could be going completely wrong. wrong direction too. I mean, I don't know. You know, yeah. it, it's. It's, yeah. You're asking to solve. It's, you're asking to solve. How how do I fix human? You don't. It, <laughs> humans are inherently messed up. So I mean, there's no way to fix human. Human condition you cannot fix. We're really smart. So it's really smart monkeys, and it's that's not always good. Yeah. So I mean, it's one of those of there. It, it's it's a problem where just because how we are how how we are, we're not. I don't think we're ever going to truly fix it. We're always going to. But oppress in the somebody because of differences. That's just unfortunately that's just how we are. I mean, I think that's also just how nature is. You know. Yeah. yeah. All in all. So we'll we'll see what happens. Fisher for president. That's what we're saying. Oh, please don't. Oh no way. <laughs> Fisher for president. I'm voting for. No, him. no, no, no. Like, just no, write in no. fish. Write in fish. It'll count. Oh no, I do not. <laughs> yeah. Come ne- come the next uh, inauguration speech. Be like, uh, Fisher. Why the hell am I here? <laughs> it's like, wh- who who the hell voted for me? Like they're don't. They're, they're, they're asking you all. All these questions like it doesn't matter i don't care <laughs> and they're like whoa and they're like no stop cheering <laughs> i like, i don't you want this <laughs> you're like i think we lost our uh stream there oh no no uh, i uh, i think it's still going is it's done that before yeah we'll see yeah. oh well whatever if, if, yeah if we'll you're still there later. Yeah. yeah but uh sorry we're not trying to blow you off just yeah is it's just anybody like, yeah. in there yeah i usually have my tablet to monitor but i it ran out of battery so Darn. Uh, <laughs> um, oh well. Whatever. If you're still there, cool. Whatever. Um. But, but yeah. So yeah. Like, so we'll like see. just like you said, it's it's a tough problem. To f- like it's an it would be an like an easy solution, but to get to that solution, it'll be tough. It's, like it's yeah. against human nature not to. Because we just have or we just to have think, s- think that we're super important, or I'm not. Sh- I don't know. We it's, just it's have just two like super stubborn sides that are both causing you know making the issue worse and worse, and mm-hmm. it's like oh, we're never gonna fix because there's no. They won't let there be some sort of middle ground, you know. So yeah. we're we're never, you know. Yeah, unf- yep. Yeah. <laughs> I need to start watching South Park. I need to go back and because they they're awesome. Like, because yeah. they because they make their episodes six days before. Yeah, they, it airs. Oh yeah, they're, they do. They're, yeah, they're, they're very topical. So it's very yeah. it's up to date and relevant. Like Simpsons, they they like they make it months months. They start making it months in advance or something like that. So it's always. They're always it's late not, to the it's, party. It's always a little, yeah. They're they're still awesome. I haven't watched it recently, but South Park's so much more relevant. Oh yeah, and Matt Stone and Trey Parker, are freaking geniuses. Oh, they're yeah. It's it, it, I love how they're just like you know what? We'll just make fun of anybody. We yeah. don't care. Yeah. It's like if you don't want to come talk to us, that we're fine. All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll we'll be fine. We got our audience. Uh, we, yeah, we got our we got our shtick, and we're gonna stick to it. Yeah, I mean that's good on them. I'm yeah. glad. You know, mm-hmm. I. I, I, I Yes, they have pissed off so many people with some of the stuff they've talked about. Yeah, but and a lot of their stuff. Yes, there are some offensive stuff. Like obviously, that's it's a comedy show. That's what they do. But it bring it, they bring up a lot of good points. Like, yes, like with with their their like lowbrow humor at points. There's a message. So good. That's that's like what we need these days. Yeah, get through it to our kids. <laughs> I don't know. Or I guess uh, yeah. <laughs> We need more South Park. All right, more South Park. <laughs> more South Park. Yes, South Park will be the way of the future. They less, will show us how to less less political debates, more South Park. Just yeah, because no, I mean that's that's one of the oddest shows where you're like, yes, they, they do it in a crude way to make it funny, but they do have excellent points. Yeah, you know, and and they make very good points on it. It's like this is stupid. Why are we doing this? Yeah. You know? yeah. I I need to start watching. So it. yeah, so so go so watch it. So new season just started. New season just started. And, like yeah, I think I'm it gonna... was what it was this week. Uh, nice. So so brand will, new season started. I will get on that because I I guess they were on hiatus for a little while. Is what okay. it sounded like. I mean I don't I I haven't really kept up with South Park too. It, it might have been like the end of the season or something, and they just took a little break. I don't yeah, know. they they usually take pretty long breaks in between seasons. Yeah, yeah. It, their schedule's tough. Like there's that documentary Six Days to Air, yep. and it shows how, like how they make an episode, and literally 
like they don't have a concept well they might have ideas but they don't have a concept for an episode until six days before it happens and that's crazy for any show sure so good for them yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you you're doing you're you're doing good work shout out to matt stone and trey parker if yes you, if be you, our friends come, <laughs> yes. come, come, come talk our, with us being our friends uh join our podcast oh, yeah. Yeah. we will awesome. we will that'd be <laughs> we will make it happen <laughs> be oh so yeah crazy. oh yeah we definitely i, I will take a day off to come talk with you guys oh, it'll be God, awesome be you're awesome. not too busy <laughs> oh yeah oh no I, I i will i will push stuff out of the way <laughs> yep um but uh we but know yeah. you got six days to make a show <laughs> But take but please take, take one of those time <laughs> off. Take take one of those days off and just talk to three guys from San Antonio. Yeah, yes. it'll be great. That'd be amazing. <laughs> it'd be it'd be really good for you. It'd be really great for us. Yes, that'd be awesome. <laughs> be, we're like, yes. Just there are no <laughs> like there are no like return gains for you. <laughs> it'd be awesome. <laughs> it'd be a very one sided thing, but <laughs> but be, we'd be more than happy real, to do it. It'd be really cool. We're yeah. big fans. All right, but uh, we're going on about an hour. So uh, anything else y'all want to say before we wrap up? Uh, no, I think I went on my rant he, for the day. Did, so, yeah. so fish were president. Another, another soapbox. I think we yeah. got our title. Um, oh. but, but, uh, that's going to be episode 83. <laughs> of, <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Oh God. Uh, That'd be a nightmare. Like, no, <laughs> I think you'd be a good, good president. That's what I get. I think you'd be, be like, I really don't want to rule you idiots. Please just <laughs> stop. <laughs> and we're just, <laughs> and dumb, just throw the we're just mic and dumb. Walk off. We're just dumb citizens. We're like, yeah, he called us idiots. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, if you get to the White House, just switch it over to a monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, just do what I say, damn it. Just trust me. <laughs> trust me on this. If you like, don't. Whoops, I just killed the country. Well, all right, it didn't yeah. work out. Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> Oops. My whatever. bad. So hey, we'll ch- start hey, over China, again. would you like a, a, a country? It's kind of... It's worse. a little broken. It's, a but little it's, kinda fi- dead. it's a fixer upper, to say the least. <laughs> um, but uh, but call this number <laughs> China two one eight hundred USA USA U. I don't know. That's, <laughs> um, um, but uh, thanks for listening and watching. If you're stream, if you're watching the stream, if it's still if it's still alive, going, yeah. yes. Um, but uh, but that's going to be thinking outside the pod episode eighty three. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook. Don't dislike us on Facebook. Uh, or do. Actually, do. Let's, yeah, why let's, not? We, we'll go for Don't. the new record most disliked yeah. thing. That'd most awesome. disliked podcast. We'll know. The infamous podcast of all time. <laughs> if yeah. most, if the that, most hated. That 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 would be awesome. To have to have any moniker <laughs> that shows us we're number one at something. <laughs> the most disgusting yeah. podcast. Yeah, we, we want to be the first person with a million dislikes. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. Dis- make sure to dis- awesome. <laughs> that, so, yeah. dislike us, but dislike, be sure to follow us, though. Dislike our Facebook. Unfollow us on Twitter. Unsubscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. Make us not little, existing. Little reverse psychology but then turn on. around and actually do it go back on it because we do <laughs> need you we're just like we're desperate well, they, they don't do it when we ask them to so if we ask them not to maybe they'll do it Who reverse knows? psychology don't listen to this part people yeah. um but uh but yeah that's gonna be our, our episode we'll be back next sunday, sunday for the stream monday for the episode so all right thank y'all Bye. later later Bye.